Hello, today I'll tell you a very simple way of preparing PowerPoint presentation. So we know that uh, because of the pandemic, it's a lockdown everywhere. So we cannot physically present to attend seminar, conferences, or even to give lectures. So in that situation, the option we have is we find some uh, interface, some interactive uh, online e-classrooms or some other tool to give presentations. But uh, there is a, in fact, there is a better way to prepare presentation and it's very easy. You can, you can incorporate your voice into your PowerPoint presentation and that can be delivered wherever you want. Even in classroom, for example, I have a class tomorrow and uh, I, I, I have some other appointment that time. So I cannot present, I cannot interact with the student, I cannot give my presentation there. So what I can do, I can prepare a presentation in advance. I can uh, incorporate my voice into that presentation and that can be delivered or can be played during the class. So it's very easy. It's, uh, the option is available in Microsoft PowerPoint. The only thing is, if you are using PowerPoint, then only you can do it. So for example, I have prepared a presentation and now I want to add my voice to the presentation. So what I'll do, I'll go to slide show. I'll open that file of presentation in PowerPoint. I'll go to slide show and I'll click on uh, record narration. So when I click on record narration, it will show me some parameters, Microsoft mic, uh, set microphone level. If I want, I can set the microphone level also, like I have put at the maximum. So then there is another option in the last link narration in. It means if you want your voice should be saved in separate file. So in that case, you need to click it. Otherwise, you don't have to click it. And where you save it, that option is also given here, the path is given. If you are saving it separately, you can browse and can select a folder where you want to save your voice. So that voice will be saved separately uh, from your PowerPoint presentation. But I don't want that. I want my voice should be incorporated in the presentation itself, not in a separate file. So I have to unclick this option. And when I unclick it, I just uh, press OK here. So when you press OK, PowerPoint presentation starts. Now you can start talking. For example, on this slide, whatever you want to talk, you just talk about it. And when it's done, you change to the next slide and you explain this slide and so on. And when you reach to the final slide, it will be stopped. So you just uh, exit and when you exit, it says, the narrations have been saved with each slide. Do you want to save the slide timing as well? So all your voice has been saved with the corresponding slide. But if you want, the timing also should be saved for each slide. How much time you have spent on each slide, that, that is the slide timing. So that also can be said. For example, I want to save it so I can see how much time I have spent on presentation or how lengthy the presentation is going to be. So I can save that and when you do that, your file is saved and uh, this file you can send anywhere you want. So this, this is the PowerPoint presentation file which is having your voice embedded into it. You can play it also in the real time if you want or you can send in advance to students or wherever you want to give presentation.